you know that I have you on because I want to talk about Outer Banks. But before we do that, I want to talk a little bit about you. I hear that you are from Miami, Florida, born and raised. See, in Texas, we say raised, raised, you had raised. Like yeah, so yeah, you born, born and raised, way. born and raised in, yes. in Miami. So what was that like? Give us a little bit of background on you. Oh, my God. Well, I printed out the questions that um, John sent over, y'all sent over, and I was like, first question, what was it like growing up in Miami? And I was going to try to answer it by saying, um, it kind of prepared me for a lot of these things that we're dealing with right now, <laughs> but I don't think it prepared me everything. I mean, but I got a lot of skills that I learned, you right. know, growing up in Liberty City and everything. Right. Um, great, man. Weather is great. Uh, um, what you call it? Scatter showers every day. Yeah. Um, you know, I grew up in an orchard, you know, oh, really? two coconut trees, mango trees, grapefruit trees, banana tree in my yard. Really? So, and next and next door, you got avocado trees, mulberry trees, tamarind. I mean, it's just an orchard. So back in the day, all you need to go is go to the water holes and turn it on to get some water because you ate. When you no, wait, wait, wait. You you gotta, we got to back, back that up. We have to back that up. You said go to the water holes. You said go to the water holes. Yeah. You <laughs> sure you're not from Texas? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, you, you know. Explain that. People don't know what the water holes. That's running around in yard playing. They cut it all on the side of the house, right? You don't go inside. Yeah. No bottle water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was good to go because you got plenty of food to eat. You live in the orchard. Right. So. Right. Oh. You, we played back then. We rode bikes and skates. Yeah. The iron yeah. skates. You know. Yeah. You remember that? I do. You know, I do. I remember age. that. But that's Miami, man. That's that's Miami. It's a wonderful, wonderful city. Florida is, I still have family there, of course. I've left a long time ago, but uh, growing up in Miami was uh, unique. It's wow. a, they say New York is a melting pot. Uh -huh. I think everywhere is a melting pot, quite frankly. A melting pot, quite frankly, that's, that's true. But Miami definitely with, with, uh, with this location and stuff like that, we had our, we had our recipes too for people that, that were from there and stuff like yeah. that. So it was a lot of culture, wow. a lot of culture. So you went to you went to college there in the area. I left there and I came to school, finished high school actually in South Carolina. Um, Did you near, near Charleston, South Carolina, a place called Somerville? Okay. Because um, my mom and dad were from there, um, and I'm the youngest of ten. So, so uh, yeah, <sighs> okay. double it up, double down. I don't even that. know what to say after that. I thought I had done some five kids, ten. You did great. Wow. <laughs> I'll never be like, well, I can't do you, but I'll never be <laughs> like him. Right, right, right. Can, the question. You know, one thing that I saw, though, that's, it's not on the question, but it's a part of it. Um, you have a bachelor's in English. That kind of rocked me earlier. Yes. I mean, like, yeah. my mom has a, a bachelor in English, and I always wondered, like, what would nice. make someone want to get a bachelor's in, in English? <laughs> I was trying to learn how to talk. Yeah. No, I'm, just, yeah right. I'm just kidding. Stop. I'm trying to figure out the language. No, you no, were not. Like, it was, you love no, the language? I, yeah, I, no. Oh, I love the, You got to love, love language in general. Yeah. Man, you know? Right. Um, that was a part of my HBCU, Claflin University. Uh -huh. Shout out. Yeah. You know? And uh, that was part of my scholarship, humanity scholarship, because I went there for theater. But I had to, you know, I had to major in English, and I had a really, you know, a minor in, in drama and communications. But that was a part of the deal, and it was great because I'm, I'm you know, with literature, and it, it just enhanced, and pretty much it was what they call an infrastructure uh -huh. for what I came there to do. Right. You know. Right. So that's my English major, and I like a double minor in communications uh -huh. and, and, and dramatic arts. Um, so it was just a part of the part of the suck attach. Wow. You know, yeah. I hear part you. of the suck attach. I hear you. So you always yeah. have been interested in theater and acting and yes. Did you do any when you were younger? It's really, really weird. It's, it's yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I'm going back to like the second and third grade. I mean, I know it visually like. Stop. I was doing, yeah. Really? Yeah. Like I doing what? I was elementary school. We did the little, you know, every every grade, like say for instance, you got one through six in elementary old school. Right, right. Okay, say this say this year the second grade is gonna do, you know, they're gonna do, you know, Halloween. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And the third grade is gonna do Thanksgiving. Right. Fifth grade is gonna fourth grade is gonna do Christmas. Right. 
who on do Easter. So we all had a show throughout every every year that you were in, you know, grade school. Mm -hmm. Out of six years, <laughs> you had some holiday to do a show or presentation about, and we did show right. like straight up. And I was like, and I, I loved it. Plus, I, I started out of music, started out with percussions mm -hmm. and strings, so I was part of the orchestra. So arts has been just like, I mean, we were doing doing that stuff in like 80, 81, 82, you know. Really? <laughs> so, yeah, so I started out young. And then, of course, I moved to Carolina. Kind of like, you know, I had to change up, relocation and stuff like right. that. So I ended up joining the speech and debate team uh, in my junior it. senior year of high school. I love it. Which was like, I was like, this is what I was doing before I left Miami. You know what I'm saying? So it was like rekindled this fire for me. Right. And then from there, I was like, I knew there was love, but then it was like, okay, I kind of got to be around this. And so I just started to keep going after that. So speech and debate, graduated college undergrad, HBCU, Claflin. Uh, Atlanta, uh, Alliance Theater, you know, went to grad school in New York, CUNY in Brooklyn, got my MFA, but you know, a uh, lot of, yeah. Just a yeah, lot. It's been a part of me for a long time. Yeah, I could yeah. tell, I could tell.